have created many different videos sharing my experience trading with different prop firms such as my forex funds and the five percenters but what is it actually like trading using somebody else's money and what is it like following a different set of rules well in this video i'm going to be sharing about what it's actually like and what i actually think about trading using funded trading accounts i'm going to be looking at the darker side of prop firms so before we dive into the video, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel and let's get to it. There are many positive sides of trading using prop firms and trading using somebody else's capital can give you a lot of advantages such as you have a larger account size to trade. So if you are a consistently profitable trader, that means more profit in the long run. You are using somebody else's risk, so it takes the risk out of your own pocket. And depending on the firm that you use, you can sometimes get access to additional support and education, which is always a bonus when it comes to trading. However, what most people tend to avoid with prop firms is talking about the negative side and the disadvantages of prop firms. And depending on where you are at on your trading journey, these can negatively impact your career as a trader and they can have some quite drastic effects on you moving forwards. Here are some disadvantages of trading using prop firms. Firstly, most prop firms have a strict set of rules to follow that you have to be able to adhere to in order to pass their challenge. One of these rules is the ability to hit a profit target. Now the figure does vary depending on which firm you use and some are more realistic and achievable than others. Regardless of what size that profit target is, it certainly can impact your trading as it brings in a deadline and it brings in a hard target that you must meet within a certain period of time. One of the ways that this can negatively impact your trading psychology and performance is by allowing you to cut your winners short, which can sometimes happen in order to bank your profits whilst you are in the green. However, this can sometimes go against your trading plan and it can negatively affect your trading moving forwards because you are taking on a new habit when it comes to trading, one that you wouldn't ordinarily do. In addition to cutting winners short, another way that having those tight profit targets and deadlines can impact your trading is through trailing tight profit stops. I found myself victim to this in my own experience with prop firms. This is because as a trade starts to work out, it starts to make money and you find yourself in the green, you can become quite worried about losing that trade. The fear of losing can kick in because you know that you have a deadline to meet and a target to meet and it adds the extra pressure onto each individual trade. So sometimes instead of allowing a trade to play out as you usually would do as per your plan, it can sometimes affect you by trailing tight profit stops and this works hand in hand with cutting winners short because if a trade is going to work out you may actually cut it short with a tight profit stop or sometimes a trade may need room to move around and it might come back down to your stop before moving forwards either way it's another bad habit that can be fostered through trading with a prop firm another bad habit that can be developed through trading challenges is over trading Again, I found myself victim to this. It is another side effect of trading with a prop firm. Having deadlines and having tight profit targets makes you quite a desperate trader and over trading can kick into that equation. For example, if you only have one month to hit your target, then when you look at trades, you might feel an intense FOMO. You might be thinking, I can't miss this trade because I really need the wins or I don't have time to wait for confirmation if this is an a quality trade, I'm going to get in anyway. And those feelings and thoughts may influence you to take trades that are not a quality and that you might not ordinarily do. I've certainly done this myself. And it can result and lead to over trading. Because you are trying to increase your chances and probabilities of being in the market. But as we all know, this exposes you to poor quality trades and also increases the likelihood of the trade losing. More importantly, it develops a pretty bad trading habit that can hinder your performance moving forwards. I think this point is fairly self-explanatory, but it is still a really important point to consider when trading a funded account challenge with prop firms. And that is the feeling of feeling rushed. When you are trading to a deadline, you naturally feel the pressure of that impending deadline getting closer. This can impact your decision-making abilities and your trading psychology in numerous ways. 
never mind the fact that you get stressed out with the whole process. Another major disadvantage of prop firms is that it can encourage you to take more risk on trades that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Again, this comes down to the fact that you have a time scale and a deadline and a target to achieve. This will make you feel quite stressed out and rushed and as a result, you may decide on those A quality trades that you want to take more risk because you think they're going to win. As we all know, trading is risky. And one of the main skills that we have to develop as traders is how to manage our risk effectively. Everyone is different in this way, but increasing your risk can affect you in two different ways. Firstly, you may lose and then it will be a larger loss than normal. Secondly, you may win, but you are being rewarded for making a bad decision, which if you continue to do, it will eventually catch up on you. Depending on your trading strategy, you might not have enough time for your trade to come to its natural conclusion without you altering your plan specifically to make those all important deadlines of the challenge. This could result in cutting winners short or maybe taking smaller losers where the trade would probably have won anyway because you didn't give the trade enough time to play out. However, some prop firms do give you longer deadlines that can help with this, such as the five percenters who can give you six months or maybe even more on some of their trading challenges. Check out the link below in the description if you want to find out some more information on the five percenters. To summarise with you, there are certainly many advantages to trading with a prop firm. But it's not all good and trading with prop firms can negatively impact your trading long term if you are not careful and aware of the disadvantages from their experience. The stress and pressure of trading challenges with strong deadlines, high targets and tight stops on the account can negatively impact both your trading and more importantly your well-being. It's super important to first focus on your trading ability and your trading psychology. And then maybe have a go with a prop firm, but only when you feel ready to do so. But understand that they are difficult to pass and sometimes you may just need the market and maybe even a little bit of luck on your side to tip the scales in your favour. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to hit that like button below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.